How fast do trains go? A lot of media attention is on high-speed rail, but what does that really mean? Generally, high-speed railways are considered to be any trains operating regularly over 100 to 120 miles per hour, but this can vary drastically depending on the country and the railway line. In the United States, the Northeast Corridor is the highest speed portion of Amtrak, with trains being capable or operating at 150 miles per hour throughout several sections of the line. Much of the Northeast Corridor operates significantly under this speed, however, due to track conditions not permitting the higher speeds. Outside of the Northeast Corridor, Amtrak operates typically between 50 to 80 miles an hour, and in a few places higher where track conditions and signaling systems permit. Keep in mind that Amtrak does not own its tracks outside of the Northeast Corridor and operates on the tracks of freight railroads which have no need for high-speed operations, with most freight trains moving around 40 to 70 miles per hour. Recent developments and proposals for high-speed lines in the U.S. include a high-speed train line in California between San Francisco and Los Angeles, a route in Texas between the Dallas-Fort Worth area and Houston, and Brightline's Miami to Orlando and Tampa line, as well as a planned high-speed route between Los Angeles and Vegas. The ideal length of travel for high-speed rail is anywhere between 100 and 800 miles, or the sweet spot between being too long to drive but too short to fly. On Amtrak's Northeast Corridor, many prefer Amtrak to flying as trains don't require arriving at the station an hour before departure. They are much more roomy and comfortable and offer better amenities. Flying between DC and New York City, for example, could take longer once you consider arriving at the airport early and the time it takes to deplane. Europe and Asia. Passenger trains are numerous in Europe with different operators providing a vast range of routes and service times. The world record for the fastest traditional train with steel wheels riding on steel rails was a French TGV test train which hit 357 miles per hour. However, in France, normal operations is anywhere between 185 and 200 miles per hour on the French TGV system. The famed Japanese bullet trains were one of the pioneers of high-speed rail service. The bullet trains started operation in 1967 and have continued to evolve through the decades. The fastest train in normal operation is a maglev train in China, reaching service speeds of 270 miles per hour. Maglev trains are very different than traditional trains, using a system of electromagnets that cause the train to float slightly above the track. This drastically reduces friction. A test run of a Japanese maglev train in 2015 still holds the absolute world record for the fastest train, hitting a speed of 374 miles per hour. China plans for regular operation of a next-gen maglev train for around 370 miles per hour. A look back through history shows a few other highlights of rail speed records. During the mid to late 1800s, railroads were cutting edge technology with many people never having seen something mechanical and the population relying heavily on horses for transportation. Overland transportation that could carry hundreds or thousands of tons worth of cargo and people and travel at 40 to 60 miles an hour changed the world and allowed for the US to become much more connected. Many were uncomfortable with machines and some even thought that the human body simply wasn't designed to go above 50 or 100 miles an hour and would literally disintegrate when it crossed that speed barrier. In 1893, the first claimed machine to hit 100 miles an hour was the New York Central Railroad's number 999. Some sources, however, are skeptical of this account. In 1927, following Charles Lindbergh's flight across the Atlantic, newspapers in New York City were competing heavily to be the first to show footage of the event, which had been a massive press event in Washington, D.C. And a race ensued between a plane and a train to see which could bring newsreel footage from Washington, D.C. to New York City the fastest. While the train was ever so slightly slower, the film was processed on board the train, allowing the footage carried on the train to arrive over an hour before the one carried by the plane. The average speed across the entire trip was 74 miles an hour, with 115 miles an hour being an unvalidated top speed. 1934, 100 miles per hour, finally official. The Flying Scotsman is one of the most famous steam locomotives in the world and is notable for being the first steam locomotive to officially be recorded operating over 100 miles per hour. 1938, 126 miles per hour. The London and Northeastern Railway's Mallard is officially the fastest steam locomotive ever recorded. While there have been claims of other steam locomotives in the United States operating faster, it has never been officially documented. Railways during the 1920s to 1950s were very competitive with passenger trains and marketed them heavily to leisure, business, and tourist passengers, with many railroads owning hotels at popular destinations and major terminals. It's hard to understand today, but trains represented the transition from horse and buggy to mechanized transportation. 
Before trains, journeys took days and weeks, not hours. Subscribe and like for more videos that are coming along very soon.